it true to say that superstores offer you super prices? Local retailers disagree, saying they fight for your business. But in the end, it's money that all consumers turn to. So we put four area stores to the test to see which one is saving you the most money through comparison shopping. Here's another problem Polanders are facing. Kids and teens after dark looking for something to do. They're either hopping the fence or breaking the lock all to come here and have a big splash. When you head to the grocery store, you have a choice about where you shop and how much you pay for those groceries. But due to a competitive market, many smaller chain stores are left feeling the burden of those costs and trying to pass the savings on through incentives. But take a look at this. This is what would be the Illinois State Prison here in Grayville. As you can see, one year after the government halted the plan here, most of the area remains weathered. If you go online and type in viruses or hackers, you'll find more than 4 million websites dedicated to helping you wreak havoc but not protect yourself. So what's the best bet for you to protect your computer? That's by being aware now. Within seconds, the house exploded, sending debris all over the city of Evansville. And tonight, the only thing left is a pile of bricks. Patrick Way live downtown, where postal workers are working hard to fill these bins with your 2003 tax returns. We'll have more on how they're going to do that coming up after the break. A child can be injured at just about any playground that they play at. That's why parents want to make sure that they are looking out for those dangers like protruding bolt and tripping hazards because ultimately that could send your child to the hospital. Last year, 228,000 kids were hurt playing on playgrounds like this. Uh, if we can prevent the, the forceful impact when the kids fall, we can prevent serious head injuries. A reason why the Consumer Product Safety Commission has kicked off a week-long national playground safety campaign so the parents can know that not all playgrounds are safe. Well, for little ones like him, that's this one here, there's some places that he could slip through and hurt himself. Uh, on the steps, he fell through a little bit ago, but I happened to catch him. And on this bridge here, he could easily fall in between here. But it's still a, still a nice playground. Safety measures Dennis Love sees in place, but admits could use improvement. The playground equipment itself can have some hazards, especially if it's older equipment, older than, say, uh, 10 years. Which most, unlike Kids Kingdom, are. So how does the state rank for its playgrounds? Not that well. A C-plus and a nationwide report card. Seven on your side put four Evansville playgrounds to the test, based on that same national report card criteria. At all four of these playgrounds, we found areas that could use improvement, including adding age-appropriate signs, adding more protective surfaces to cushion a landing, elimination of protruding bolts, and cutting down on the risk of splinters and rust exposure. They tighten these up just a little bit, I think, and even a lower rail here would have been helpful, but maybe he's too small for the, the playground itself. Maybe it's for bigger kids, but there's no sign saying what age brackets it's really designed for. Yeah. Now back here live at Kids Kingdom, you can see they're finishing up the final touches, but nothing makes up for the absence of a child at any playground. Now the other thing we want is that the city of Evansville says it's doing its best to make sure that each park is maintained. And now if you'd like to see more information or copies of the state report card on this information, it's all on our website, that's sevenonyourside.com. Well, cell phones are easy to come by. Just take a look at this box of 40 we were able to gather at the station in the past week. Now they're not the latest in technology, but they're still worth something. Not only to local charities, but also in the preservation of our environment. Incoming calls. Who would have thought that in just over 10 years, we'd go from cell phones like this to smaller compact versions like this, leaving many consumers asking, what do I do with my old phone? Uh, bring your cell phones to the zoo, we'll take them, we'll, we'll help you dispose of them. We do that because it furthers our mission statement. Not only are we a, a great family attraction where you can see animals, but part of our mission statement is, uh, is very concerned with educating the public and helping conserve the Earth's natural resources. Dan McGinn is the director of the Mesker Park Zoo, one of many charities nationwide taking part in the Sell for Cash program. There's, there are various companies around uh, that will buy cell phones, depending on the, the make, the model, the year of the cell phone, uh, that, that determines the price. But they will take these cell phones and they will either reclaim the metals and materials that are in them, redo them themselves, and then resell them. See, the money from each cell phone collected is donated back to that charity. In some cases, old phones can be worth up to $80 a 
apiece, which in numbers can add up to a sizable donation. We have designated uh, the funds because the company asked that for future expansion of, of this portion of the zoo for the African area of the zoo. So before you throw your old phone out or turn it back in for a new one, think about the environment and how your old phone could go to benefit others. <laughs> Now that was Kia, one of the animals that can benefit from your donation. And to show you how quick and easy it is, we have this box of 40 cell phones I showed you earlier. Joining me now is the zoo's director, Dan McGinn. And Dan, we want to present these 40 cell phones to you on behalf of the entire staff at WTVW. Oh, we appreciate it. We appreciate uh, Box 7 helping us publicize our conservation message of recycling, reusing, and reducing. Uh, and the Earth thanks you also. Very good. And remember, it's not just the zoo that can benefit. There are charitable organizations out there everywhere. So, Randy, if you have a cell phone out there, you want to get it to one of those so it doesn't end up in a landfill. Well, gas prices are on the rise, and it's hitting consumers where they don't like to feel it in their wallet. So is there help available? Tonight, Fox 7's on your side with seven easy ways for you to get cheap gas. With gas prices on the rise again, holding steady now just under $2, many consumers are being left either biting the bullet of the added cost or finding alternatives. To help, Seven's on your side with our top seven ways to find cheap gas. Number seven starts with your car, and if you're in the market for a new or used one, consider a more gas-efficient or hybrid car. It won't cut down on your gas bill completely, but will offer your budget some added relief. To number six, ensuring your car's performance, keeping your tires inflated and the engine tuned up will help maximize your car's gas mileage. Number five on my list is price comparison, not only checking the prices in your own backyard, but also those over the state line. Number four will benefit warehouse members because most like Sam's Club and Costco offer discounts to those members when they leave the checkouts to go fill up. To number three in buying power as local grocers are offering gas discounts for buying featured products in their store. In some cases, avid consumers say they drove off with a tank full of gas, if not more. Number two can help cut down on gas too by carpooling or taking the bus. Remember though, those added savings do come with added headaches. And the number one way to get free gas is to let us pay for it. Seven's on your side with a free gas giveaway. Log on to sevenonyourside.com and watch weeknights at six to see if you're a winner. So depending on your habits, cutting costs might not be possible, but finding ways now to save could net you big bucks down the road. So how can you get a free ride on your side? It's quick and easy to do. Log on to our website at sevenonyourside.com. Click on giveaways and promotions, enter your information, send it into the station. Then every night at 6, Chief Meteorologist Ron Rhodes will pick a new winner during his guaranteed 3-degree weather, and that person will walk away with $30 in free gas. And not a bad deal. Now, coming up tonight on Fox 7 News at 6, we'll have much more on my top seven list. And, Randy, I may even share a few extra tidbits for you guys in the station. We appreciate that, Greg. Thanks not a, a problem. Okay. Within seconds, the house exploded. Oh, hold on. Three, two, one. State of emergency is still in effect, but don't take my word for it. Take a look at some of the damage that's out here right now. You've got trees that are split in half. These trees that are 40 and 50 feet long actually were covering the roadways. You can see debris that is just covering the roadways. That's why the state of emergency is in effect, because you don't know what your car is actually going to be driving over. Now, if we can pan up the roadway, we have electric crews that are on the scene right now. Vectron tells us they continue to work on all of the power situations that are going on throughout the area they understand there are thousands of people that are still without power but they say they are working on the situation now this wasn't the situation earlier this morning fox 7's andy schroeder was out surveying the damage he continues our coverage with a report from newburgh andy schroeder fox 7 news all right, Andy, thank you for that. Now, Randy, let me show you this real quick. This is some of the debris that the crews are going to have to be referencing. This is the debris that they're going to have to get off the road and why. If you do not have to be out tonight, you want to stay off the road. Again, a state of emergency has been issued for the city of Newburgh, and we will have continuing coverage coming up tonight on Fox 7 News at 9 o'clock. Back to you.